Nichols here. I'm gonna do a little quick 90 second quick tip. If you remember from my previous video on how to record the screen of the DJI Go app, you can see that video right here. Popular video, a lot of people liked it. I had a problem where I said with AZ Recorder and Telesim that the video would drift from the audio when I brought it into Premiere. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. Very quick way to fix it. And this is with MP4 files across the board. So let's open Premiere. We've got Premiere here. I'm gonna bring a clip into here. Let's bring this MP4 clip in. Okay, so here it is. Now you'll notice when we play it, is what is happening on the screen. So up on the upper left. Now you'll see here where it says EXP sensitivity and gain. We're gonna mess around with EXP today. Gain is basically how quick it reacts. Okay, so it just said EXP sensitivity and gain, but that is not where it is. That is all the way back. So that is all the way back here, and yet, we were up here. So that's it. So it is messed up. So I'm going to clear this file out. I'm going to come back over to my folder. Basically what I did was I made a copy. Then I pasted it right into the same directory. That made it, you know, 2016 whatever copy. All I did was I just changed the file extension by clicking on it. I just changed the file extension to .mov. That was it. And then I put fixed in front of it so that I knew that it was the fixed one. I would have known from the MOV. Now that's over here. Okay, and now let's open this one up, the fixed one. And let's go to that same point about where we were. Okay, now you'll see. And come back. You see that throttle up and the throttle down. Go the same. So that is it. That's your quick tip for fixing video drift and MP4 files. Just rename them to .movs when you bring them into pre before you bring them into Premiere. It'll bring them into Premiere as a .mov. The video and the audio stay synced up. You won't have issues. This has been such a pain for me, and uh, I haven't been able to figure out why. Figured this out this morning, and it was just a big breakthrough personally for me because now I can edit in multicam uh, without having to worry about the audio drifting. And uh, it just works. So a little quick quick tip video. This is a preview of the next video that I'm going to post, which is changing your EXP and your gain settings. So look for that one. Other than that, have a great Friday. I'm going to try and get a second video up today. If not, the EXP gain one will be up on Monday. So have a great weekend. Peace.